Hey guys, also welcome to another video of Come on, double A. And um, this is your review for the Chelsea versus Manchester United game where we just lost 4 0. We got absolutely spanked. Um, it's. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm speechless. Honestly, I'm lost for words. I'm at the bus stop now, waiting for the bus. Literally, I was just coming from the pub watching it with a couple of mates and. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm speechless. Look, I, I knew this season was going to be tough, you know. Obviously, with Lampard's first season, we had the transfer embargo. We just lost Hazard. Um, and we had quite a few issues. We had a few issues. And we knew this was going to be an issue. However, I did not expect to get us spanked like that. United, they're in turmoil. Their midfield had issues. You know, they had problems with the boards, with the owners. I thought that maybe we could maybe salvage a draw. I even went bold and said 2 1 win. How brain did was I? Um, but I, I don't even think we're too bad. I think the scoreline is 100% flattering. I've got to mention that. I, I don't want to rant. I don't want to get angry because at the end of the day, I kind of expected this this season. I know this season was a bit of a write-off. It was for in integrating you. I thought there was a few positives. But overall, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm angry. Honestly, inside, I'm livid. He scored at winning. It was like a death by a thousand cuts. It was a death by a thousand cuts. And it hurts. It hurts so fucking much. And... I think Lampard made mistakes with his team selection. I'll get into that in a minute. I thought that with a few of his team selections, it was definitely an issue. But the defending was horrific. The defending was disgusting and unacceptable. That defending should not be happening. That is schoolboy amateur defending. The way that we defended. The fourth goal, I have to burn the referee because Zuma went down with a head injury. And obviously, there's a head injury. The referee has to automatically stop the play. The players stopped running because they thought the referee was going to blow his whistle. They did, and Pogba carried on running. He fed it through to Daniel James, and Daniel James had finished it off. It was like we got shot in the heart, honestly. Imagine conceding to Daniel James and conceding a brace to fucking Marcus Rashford. For me, that's it. Honestly. Honestly, I'm done. Honestly, I can't be asked. Like, we've just lost 4 0. You can call me reactionary all you want, but it feels like I just want the season to end now. Like, it just felt like another pre season game, and I thought that when we conceded 3 to Salzburg and 4 to Reading, sorry, um, 3 to Reading and 4 to Salzburg, it obviously showed that it wasn't a, it wasn't a problem, as in, um, it was an issue, and it's just, honestly, it's, just, it's so frustrating. Honestly, it's actually gut wrenching. Knowing that this is going to happen, and honestly, I'm, I'm actually lost for words all this time. And uh, yeah, honestly, I've got, I've got nothing to say. It just hurts so bad. I mean, you know, the lineup, like I mentioned, when Lampard with the lineup, he's very bold. I mean, Mason Mount, the left wing, Ross Barkley was playing number eight. Obviously, Ross Barkley had a very good full season, but the problem was with, with Mason Mount is. He's not a natural left winger. We're naturally going to lose issues there. Pulisic wasn't started. Kante obviously didn't start. He came on later on in the game. But obviously the other positive is, you know, Mason had a fantastic game. I thought Emerson was by far a best player. Like I mentioned in my video this morning, he's definitely an underrated player. Definitely a player that, that we should be looking at the season. I'm really excited to see how Emerson plays this season. But overall, I'm, I'm gutted, honestly. Um, they were so negative. And the defending was shit. Honestly, shit. Like, I'm actually quite embarrassed by the diabolical defending and... Like I said, I've honestly got no words. It hurts. It hurts deep down. But, you know, we have to move on to, to the next game now. The Super Cup against Liverpool. You know, I really thought during the draw this game. I mean, imagine we're losing 4-0 to United, yeah? We are, gonna, we are going to get spanked at the Etihad. If you thought 6-0 was bad last season, ha, huh, get your seatbelts tight, lads, because we're losing 9-0. Incoming 9-0, if we're lucky, honestly. This rate. You can call me reactionary, but the defending was disgusting. You can't fix defending overnight. Defending, as a unit, takes time over training sessions, and it takes weeks for, for it to fix. You can't do it over a season. This should have been addressed over pre-season. Why is Zuma looking like a Bakayoko version of a centre-back? I mean, it's disgraceful. Zuma, I have loads of faith in him. He's got the world club potential, but I know what the fuck has happened to him ever since his comeback. Pre-season was diabolical. This game was atrocious. He even made a mistake. Luckily, it didn't cost us, but for the penalty, was so clumsy. What the fuck was he thinking, honestly? And look at Christensen, was our best centre-back. He was at fault for the second goal. I mean, why he's just standing there like an absolute retard, allowing the ball to come across and a tapping for Rashford. Um, uh, sorry, a tapping for Martial. And then even the third goal as well. The third goal, I mean, Aspen and Greta, man. This guy is actually finished, honestly. And the problem is, as well, with the system that we're playing on the Lampard is... 
these type of players that are not suited to his system are going to struggle. I repeated this so many times on the Sari, but Azpi, Pedro, Giroud, Barkley, these type of players aren't suited to his system and they never will be. It's all good scoring three goals in pre-season, but you, if you don't do it when it counts, then there's no point of you doing it. And to be honest, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just speechless. It hurts so bad. Like, this whole time, I'm thinking that, you know, honestly, I, I'm, I'm, I've got, I, mean, I haven't even got anything to say. It just... It hurts so much, you know, it honestly hurts so much and it's just, it's gut-wrenching, it's just got me like, I'm, I'm burning inside, like, I'm so fucking livid, but what can you do? I mean, see, I'm not going to panic now, you know, if you're up and again the season, you can get freak results, obviously the capitulation is unacceptable, at this level you should be capitulating, the mentality left, the mentality just finished, finito, as soon as that second goal went in, gone, the players' heads were gone, the mentality was finished, capitulation completely. And I think that it's not a lack of they don't want to play for us. It's lack of mentality, a lack of experience. It's natural the team is still gelling. Like I said, I'm not going to panic now. I don't want to go too heavy on them. You know, I don't want to go too heavy. I don't want to start ranting, etc. Because you have to give them time. However, if we lose the Super Cup and we lose um, at home to, to Leicester, then I will slowly start to panic. Then that's when I'll start panicking because... We need to start getting some points, honestly. Like, we need to start fixing them. Our squad should be good enough to compete for top four at least. Um, obviously, you look at certain situations. Um, uh, what can we call it, for example? Um, you know, we can. Um, you know, we have a lot of squad players injured. Really good. Still has to come back. Reese James has come back from injury. Hudson Doy, Ruben off his cheek. Pulisic wasn't fully fit as well. You got to go. Lacante wasn't fully fit as well. So there is a lot of players in that sense that, you know, we have a lot to look forward to when it comes to midfielders. You know, we've still got Ruben to come back, like I said. So there's still a lot to look forward to. But even with this starting eleven, there is no excuse to lose 4-0. That was unacceptable and simply disgusting. The defending was absolutely ridiculous. And to be honest, I've got nothing more to say. I'm probably going to wrap it up there. Um, if you did enjoy this review, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. If you're not on here, make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And I'll see you guys for my next video. Peace.